Fiber Channel, or FC, is a high-speed network technology primarily used to connect computer data storage. Fiber Channel is standardized in the T11 Technical Committee of the International Committee for Information Technology Standards, an American National Standards Institute accredited standards committee. Fiber Channel was primarily used in supercomputers, but has become a common connection type for storage area networks in enterprise storage. Despite its name, fiber channel signaling can run on an electrical interface in addition to fiber optic cables. Fiber channel protocol is a transport protocol that predominantly transports SCSI commands over fiber channel networks. The origin of the name, when the technology was developed, it supported only optical cabling. At some point support for copper cables was added, so the development committee decided to keep the same name but switched to the British English spelling fiber for the standard. The American English spelling fiber refers only to optical cabling. Thus, a network using fiber can be implemented either with copper or optical fiber. History Fiber Channel was developed in a committee through industry cooperation, while SCSI was developed by a single vendor and later submitted for standardization. Fiber Channel started in 1988, with ANSI standard approval in 1994, as a way to simplify the HIPPI system then in use for similar roles. HIPPI used a massive 50-pair cable with bulky connectors, and had limited cable lengths. When Fiber Channel started to compete for the mass storage markets its primary competitor was IBM's proprietary serial storage architecture interface. Eventually the market chose Fiber Channel over SSA, depriving IBM of control over the next generation of mid- to high-end storage technology. Fiber Channel was primarily concerned with simplifying the connections and increasing distances, as opposed to increasing speeds. Later, Designers added the goals of connecting SCSI disk storage, providing higher speeds and far greater numbers of connected devices. It also added support for any number of upper layer protocols, including ATM, IP and FICON, with SCSI being the predominant usage. The fiber channel protocol has a rich roadmap of speeds on a variety of underlying transport media. For example, the following table shows native fiber channel speed variants, a euro throughput for duplex connections, fiber channel topologies, there are three major fiber channel topologies, describing how a number of ports are connected together. A port in fiber channel terminology is any entity that actively communicates over the network, not necessarily a hardware port. This port is usually implemented in a device such as disk storage an HBA on a server or a fiber channel switch. Point to point. Two devices are connected directly to each other. This is the simplest topology, with limited connectivity. Arbitrated loop. In this design, all devices are in a loop or ring, similar to token ring networking. Adding or removing a device from the loop causes all activity on the loop to be interrupted. The failure of one device causes a break in the ring. Fiber channel hubs exist to connect multiple devices together and may bypass failed ports. A loop may also be made by cabling each port to the next in a ring. A minimal loop containing only two ports, while appearing to be similar to FCP2P, differs considerably in terms of the protocol. Only one pair of ports can communicate concurrently on a loop. Maximum speed of 8 GFC. Switched fabric. All devices or loops of devices are connected to fiber channel switches, similar conceptually to modern Ethernet implementations. Advantages of this topology over FCP2P or FCAL include, the switches manage the state of the fabric, providing optimized interconnections. The traffic between two ports flows through the switches only, it is not transmitted to any other port. Failure of a port is isolated and should not affect operation of other ports. Multiple pairs of ports may communicate simultaneously in a fabric. Layers Fiber channel does not follow the OSI model layering, but is split similarly into five layers, FC for a Euro protocol mapping layer, in which application protocols, such as SCSI or IP, are encapsulated into a PDU for delivery to FC2. FC3 a Euro common services layer, 
a thin layer that could eventually implement functions like encryption or RAID redundancy algorithms. FC2 a Euro network layer, defined by the FCPI2 standard, consists of the core of fiber channel, and defines the main protocols. FC1 a Euro data link layer, which implements line coding of signals. FCO a Euro PHY, includes cabling, connectors etc. Layers FCO through FC2 are also known as FCPH, the physical layers of fiber channel. Fiber channel routers operate up to FC4 level, switches up to FC2 and hubs on FCO only. Fiber channel products are available at 1, 2, 4, 8, 10, 16 and 20 bit S. These protocol flavors are called accordingly 1GFC, 2GFC, 4GFC, 8GFC, 10GFC, 16GFC or 20GFC. The 16GFC standard was approved by the NCITS T11 committee in 2010, and those products became available in 2011. Products based on the 1GFC, 2GFC, 4GFC, 8GFC and 16GFC standards should be interoperable and backward compatible. The 1GFC, 2GFC, 4GFC, 8GFC designs all use 8B 10B encoding, while the 16GFC standard uses 64B 66B encoding. Unlike the 10GFC and 20GFC standards, 16GFC provides backward compatibility with 4GFC and 8GFC. The 10 bit S standard and its 20 bit S derivative, however, are not backward compatible with any of the slower speed devices, as they differ considerably on FC1 level in using 64B 66B encoding instead of 8B 10B encoding and are primarily used as inter switch links. Ports The following types of ports are defined by fiber channel, node ports. N port is a port on the node used with both FCP2P or FCSW topologies. Also known as node port. NL port is a port on the node used with an FCAL topology. Also known as node loop port. F port is a port on the switch that connects to a node point to point. Also known as fabric port. An F port is not loop capable. FL port is a port on the switch that connects to a FCAL loop also known as fabric loop port. E port is the connection between two fiber channel switches, also known as an expansion port. When E ports between two switches form a link, that link is referred to as an inter-switch link. B port A bridge port is a fabric inter-element port used to connect bridge devices with E ports on a switch. The B port provides a subset of the E port functionality, D port is a diagnostic port, used solely for the purpose of running link-level diagnostics between two switches and to isolate link-level fault on the port, in the SFP, or in the cable. X port is the connection between a fiber channel router and a fiber channel switch. On the side of the switch it looks like a normal E port, but on the side of the router it is an X port. TE port is an extended ISL or EISL. The TE port provides not only standard E port functions but allows for routing of multiple VSANs. This is accomplished by modifying the standard fiber channel frame upon ingress egress of the VSAN environment. Also known as trunking E port. VE port and NCITS T11 edition, FCIP interconnected E port ISL, that is, fabrics will merge. VEX port and NCITS T11 edition, is a FCIP interconnected X port, routing needed via LSAN zoning to connect initiator to a target. General types, auto or auto sensing port can automatically become an E, T, E, F, or FL port as needed. FX port a generic port that can become a F port or a FL port. GL port on a switch can operate as an E port, FL port, or F port. Found on QLOGIC switches. G port or generic port on a switch can operate as an E port or F port. Found on Brocade, MacData, and QLOGIC switches. L port is the loose term used for any arbitrated loop port, NL port or FL port. Also known as loop port. U port is the loose term used for any arbitrated port. Also known as universal port. 
found only on brocade switches. Note: The term trunking is not a standard fiber channel term and is used by vendors interchangeably. For example, a trunk in a brocade device is referred to as a port channel by Cisco, whereas Cisco refers to trunking as an EISL. Optical carrier medium variants. Modern fiber channel devices support SFP transceiver, mainly with LC fiber connector. Older 1GFC devices use GBIC transceiver, mainly with SC fiber connector. Fiber channel infrastructure. Fiber channel switches can be divided into two classes. These classes are not part of the standard, and the classification of every switch is a marketing decision of the manufacturer. Directors offer a high port count in a modular chassis with no single point of failure. Switches are typically smaller, fixed configuration, less redundant devices. A fabric consisting entirely of one vendor is considered to be homogeneous. This is often referred to as operating in its native mode, and allows the vendor to add proprietary features which may not be compliant with the fiber channel standard. If multiple switch vendors are used within the same fabric it is heterogeneous, the switches may only achieve adjacency if all switches are placed into their interoperability modes. This is called the open fabric mode as each vendor's switch may have to disable its proprietary features to comply with the fiber channel standard. Some switch manufacturers offer a variety of interoperability modes above and beyond the native and open fabric states. These native interoperability modes allow switches to operate in the native mode of another vendor and still maintain some of the proprietary behaviors of both. However, running in native interoperability mode may still disable some proprietary features and can produce fabrics of questionable stability. Fiber channel host bus adapters, fiber channel HBAs are available for all major open systems, computer architectures, and buses, including PCI and SPAS. Some are OS dependent. Each HPA has a unique worldwide name, which is similar to an Ethernet MAC address in that it uses an organizationally unique identifier assigned by the IEEE. However, WWNs are longer. There are two types of WWNs on a HPA. A node WWN, which can be shared by some or all ports of a device, and a port WWN, which is necessarily unique to each port. Development tools, when developing and or troubleshooting the fiber channel bus, examination of hardware signals can be very important to find problems. Logic analyzers and bus analyzers are tools which collect, analyze, decode, store signals so people can view the high-speed waveforms at their leisure. See also References In SIDS fiber channel standards Sources, Clark, T. Designing Storage Area Networks Addison Wesley, 1999. ISBN 0-201-61584-3. Further reading, RFC 2625 a Euro IP and ARP over fiber channel, RFC 2837 a Euro definitions of managed objects for the fabric element in fiber channel standard, RFC 3723 a Euro securing block storage protocols over IP, RFC 4044 a Euro Fiber Channel Management MIB, RFC 4625 a Euro Fiber Channel Routing Information MIB, RFC 4626 a Euro MIB for Fiber Channels Fabric Shortest Path First. Protocol, External Links, Fiber Channel Industry Association, in sits Technical Committee Responsible for FC Standards, T11, IBM SAM Survival Guide. Introduction to Storage Area Networks, Fiber Channel Overview, Fiber Channel Tutorial, Storage Networking Industry Association, Virtual Fiber Channel in Hyper-V.